Coach Reif, uh, obviously a fantastic win. You come on the road here and beat a you know a Western Iowa Conference champion. Tell me a little bit about your just overall thoughts on kind of how the girls played and how this thing kind of transpired tonight. Well, we started out kind of slow in the first few innings, and then we got got our sticks going a little bit. We hit the ball well. They stole two or three hits from us, good hits. Uh, we had players step up when players needed to step up and hit the ball. Uh, I was more than pleased. Emily, obviously, I think you, you've come to expect these kind of performances. Along with that, she you know, gets a line drive off her hand, but comes right back at it and is ready to go. I mean, tell me about her gutty performance tonight. Oh, yeah, she, she put everything into the game. She's played a lot of balls, pitched a lot of innings, pitched every inning this year for us. And, and uh, either pitching or hitting, she just puts her all into it. And, then, yeah, I'm plenty proud of her for the way she stepped up tonight. I know you guys kind of came into the postseason off of those losses uh, late in the season to Logan and, and to, uh, I think, West Monona as well. But right into it, you guys are playing the ball that you were playing prior to that. Uh, was there any come to Jesus meeting or anything like that, or what, 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 what has changed here? Oh, nothing's changed. The girl, girls have a gold, and we're reach, reaching for that gold. So they have a common value. When the team comes together and you leave the eye behind, things happen. Xyra Elkhorn, Kimbleton, I know you played them very early in the year. I know this is a different team now. What are your thoughts on meeting up with them again and what it'll take? No, it's going to take good hitting and good fielding and, and uh, guts, just like we showed out there tonight. Coach, congrats on the win. Thank you. Emily McIntosh, fantastic performance here tonight. A 3-2 win. You got a bruised hand. Everything uh, probably feels pretty good right now, though, huh, getting a victory? Yes, definitely. Yeah, tell me a little bit about uh, your performance tonight. What was going well for you? Um, I thought the whole team played well. We really were hyped up and just we need to get the bats going sooner. But other than that, it was pretty good. How did you approach this Riverside lineup? It's a pretty deep group that can do a lot of different things. How did you approach them tonight? Um, we just I went up to the plate thinking every hitter can hit and having to pitch the best that I can. All right, you took one off the hand. A line drive uh, looked bad. Obviously, probably doesn't feel very good, but uh, tell me about that. Your, uh, you know, reaction to it, how it felt, and then you know, obviously, you, you went right back out there and fielded the next couple balls right back to you. Uh, yeah, I it hit my hand, and I wasn't for sure where it went, but I grabbed it and threw it out at first, and we got the out. Yeah. Does it? Do you, do you feel like it's just a bruise, or what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think it's just a pretty big bruise. Yeah. All right, you'll be ready to go on Friday against Xyra EHK, a team that you saw very early in the year, and I know you guys are a much different team now. Uh, tell me about that and getting an opportunity to face them again and what it'll take to maybe get a win. Oh, I'm excited to face them again, just minimize the errors, um, and we just got to get the bats going. Congrats on the win. Thank you.